Uh, what Friday plans did you make? What were your, what were your plans? <laughs> I want to know. Everyone wants to know. We've all been like, this is all well and good, Englishman. But what, what's the plan? What are you planning on doing? Uh, we're going to dance. You're going to dance? Yeah. That's pretty rare, I think. You, be, you, where? You, you, where? That man, where? You, you, you're with <laughs> someone already. <laughs> so where? where? Yeah. <laughs> no, where? Or is that what you were planning? He's going to be there. Is there a cover charge? Because that keeps out the riffraff. You want to go... Oh, I always want it to be at least $10 so that I can, you know, make sure that it's a finer class of individual. Uh, where, where, what type of dancing do you do? Oh, do you just mean like... Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm British. That's no, We don't dance like that. We'd spill our tea. It would be tragic. Um, oh, when you said uh, Friday night dancing, I was like, oh, you're going to... No, no. Sorry, is that not what the kids do? I'm far too old for this. Um, what, so where do, you, where do you, like, what type of music do you dance to? It'll be in this neighbourhood. I don't know this neighbourhood. Yeah, Lower East Side. Lower East Side. <laughs> what, so what type of music is here? I know there's Beastie Boys Corner, but you can't really dance to that. You know, <laughs> connoisseur of hip-hop. <laughs> <laughs> what, what type of music do you like to dance to? Really all kinds of music. Really all kinds of music. Look, if you didn't want this conversation, don't be on your fucking phone. That's the, <laughs> that's the lesson we've learned. Um, Thank, thank you, man. So, I mean, you, you were jumping on that immediately. You were just like, are you, do you love dancing? Uh, kind of. I kind of. Like Why did you immediately social. ask? Do you have, like, <laughs> you have dance Tourette's? As soon as someone's like, I'm going to dance, like, what the fuck, where are you, where are you doing it? I want to go. I don't actually like it. You look, you look very wise. Do you, do you read a lot of philosophy? I do not. You do not. It's just the glasses and the beard, isn't yes. it? And that's annoying to me, because I'm really clever, but I don't have glasses or a beard. So people look at him, they're like, he probably went to Oxford, no. but I actually went to Oxford, so fuck off. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm performing in a sweetie store, so it's not that good. What, what, what do you do, then, if it's not teaching philosophy? Uh, I work in finance. You work in finance? Yeah. Look how upset everyone is. And you trick you trick them because you don't look like you do. You look like if you were like, oh, I work in finance, you'd be like, oh, you harvest and sell lumber. <laughs> Did you just say wood? Did you just translate the word lumber for Americans? No. What did you say? He didn't say, he said wood, didn't he? I'm, you're like two meters away. This is rubbish. I right, who's not a fucking lot. weirdo? <laughs> If I ask a question, right, don't you be like all kinds? I mean, when you're, you're very cheerful, aren't you? Yeah, you're smiling and welcoming. You have a beard, but you don't look like you do philosophy. You have, you have a beard because you look like you value grooming and presentation. Why are you covering your face? You've got a good beard as well. It bearded boyfriends? We are. Yeah. This is adorable. I love that. How, I've never kissed anyone with a beard. How does it work? Is it like Velcro? Like, yeah, really? Oh, that's sexy. Do sometimes when you when you go for the kiss, is there like a bit of food in his beard and you're like, oh, I'll trade you. And then you put it in yours and then you put yours in his. What's, um, that's, how feed each other. that's how you feed each other. See, this is the type of conversation that comedy thrives upon. You had a bit, you could have had this conversation if only you were sat next to someone with a beard. It's her fault, not mine. It is, it is your fault, yeah. Blame the women. Look at finance bro, misogynist. At least she didn't even know what type of dancing she likes. But you were like, I'm doubling down. I fucking hate them. Why are they allowed? Here, here. That's great. So my, my, my beardy boys, what, is that what you go by? Yeah. Yeah, the beardy boys. I love it. Um, what, what are your actual names, beardy boys? Matthew. Matthew David. and David. Do you shorten that to Matt? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but then people walk all over you. <laughs> and... <laughs> This is the type of erudite wit that you get from British comedians. They, they, bring, they bring me into this country because that's you know, the type of name-based humour. Uh, Tito's is a vodka, and that is something you walk on. Um, or the opposite of glossy. Oh, the dancing lady was impressed for that. Hey, will you reveal more about yourself now? No, still never. Can you do the Macarena? Do you even know what that is? You're all t children. What, um, so Matthew and David, what, what do you guys do? Don't say finance. I work for a global events company. A yeah. global events company. And at night I throw gay parties all over the city. And at night you throw gay parties all over the city. Why don't you combine those two? I feel global, well it can't be a global events company. It's mainly Western Europe and America. No, and then global. Brazil, you know, that's, that's, uh, 
That's, that was very welcoming in the 60s, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. It was one of the first, It was legal to be in the early 20th century, actually. In nineteen, in like nineteen twenty, you could be gay in Brazil. Fun fact. Um, <laughs> not funny, unless you're that woman there. She loved that. <laughs> um, you throw gay events all over the world. Where, where's your, where's the gayest? No, you throw gay events all over the city. Okay, yeah, not that. We figured that out. What's, what's, what makes an event gay? I feel like huge queer parties. Huge queer parties. Queer DJs, the, people queer DJs the people there. There's usually a dark room for sex. There's I'm usually a dark room for sex. Oh. I thought that was to develop photographs. <laughs> Not using oh. it for the intended oh. purpose. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, change your Friday night plans. <laughs> you go into one of these parties. It sounds banging. You can fuck off and stay away. <laughs> Don't even look at, look at his face. If he tries to sneak in. <laughs> Finance? No, more like Guy Pants. What? Oh, he's a hip-hop legend. And then, um, da David, what do you do? I'm a psychologist. A psychologist? Oh, can you help me? <laughs> what is going on? Why, why does my father not love me? And why will I never have his approval? What, um, what, what drew you to psychology? And you mean, you mean like clinical psychology? Yeah, I do evaluations for kids who like need special education. So I'm like... If you didn't hear... Evaluations for kids who need special education. So A, David is very noble. And B, I cannot make fun of him whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I help troubled youths. <laughs> um, have you ever had any kind of like hopeless cases? <laughs> he's, his eyes went up to the right, so he has. <laughs> A litany, yeah. The parents. Well, the parents. It's usually the parents, yeah. It's, 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 it's nurture rather than nature. Um, it is. I, I, you know, child soldiers, if they were raised a different way, wouldn't be child soldiers, would they? Is that your professional evaluation and opinion? We can write that down. We can write that down. We can quote him on that. Um, that's amazing. Cool. The so psychologist who works with troubled youth, you throw... <laughs> well, no, because the thing is, I was about to say big gay parties, but it sounds demeaning. But that's what they are, right? With big old sexy rooms and and. We know how to have a good time. Yeah. Oh, I, I bet. Uh, I'm, annoyingly, I'm in San Francisco on Friday, which I mean, I'd find a big gay party there, but um, so I can't come hang out with you. I'm sorry. She just did this face. And then you're a, a finance. Disguised as a lumberjack. All right. <laughs> well, let's let's do. I thought it'd be quite fun to to prove my my hip hop credentials because everyone always doubts it. And you know, I, I know some of you here are big fans of the UK hip hop scene, and you are like, oh, but aren't you that really famous rapper from England? And I am, I am actually. And I thought we'd we'd do a rap about all these lovely people, Matthew and David. And then what was your name? Miriam. Miriam. That's a lovely name that I've not heard since my great-grandmother's friend died. <laughs> Maybe my great-grandmother was friends with young, cool, trendy people. She wasn't. She was fucking ancient. <laughs> Miriam, he's got a dog called Tito, and you're a, a stain on society. So, um, so I thought we'd, we'd make a little rap about all these lovely people. Obviously, we're in a, a candy shop, so what beat is better than... A beat. They're, they're all too young to know. They won't even know this. Can we? Can we play it? Let's play it. Let's go. It's Candy Shop by Fifty Cent. Holy shit! Jumping on off we go, my bro in the front row with the dog Tito. He was there at the pound on offer. He says, I want you to get that like a shot of vodka, pick it up. That's the truth. I drink hooch and I name it after my pooch. Okay, it's a silly man. Walking the dog, then we go see Miriam. She be like, ah, I'm so bored at home. I'm at the comedy show. I gotta check my phone. I'm like, I know comedian present, but I wanna make sure organize an event, do it my way when I'm on a Friday, gonna catch the Uber on the highway. Oh yeah, then we do the cha-cha slide. Where in the city? The Lower East Side. That's the less, but now the gays. You throw parties around all the different ways. We got Matt and David, you know they slay this. If you wanna go to a party that's basic, then stick with Miriam on this town. You'll be jumping, dancing up and down. Oh, Miriam, this is a boring night. Yeah, cause I just dance off all types of music. Oh, I said I love to dance or twerk, why? Cause I'm so gay on the dance floor Say the DJ's here, we love this Yes, cause we're all queer Out of context, this would seem very strange When it comes to events, he's got a range He does global events in the daytime But in the night 
time, you have a gay time. You're like, yeah, come into the line, I assume. Follow me over here to a very dark room with the photos. No, no, up your bum and in your mouth. Oh, yes, lots of cum. It's so rude, but I know it's not news this. If you go in there, don't be prudish. You gotta make sure you really do it. You gotta swap loads of bodily fluids and dance to the stuff that you like. If you wanna help children, little types, David will be there. He's like, can I ask you, have you ever encountered my boy Matthew? No, don't worry, we won't bring him up. You had a hard time being brought up. Your parents were brass, you, they were cruel. Are you bullied when you go to school? See, I was really right on the money. The section about this job was not funny, but it's okay. Cause my guy's over here, he's in finance, but he's got a beard and spectacles. So yeah, you're like, man, you look like you're from Portland in an artisanal coffee store. Now I work on the 72nd floor of the Empire State. Annoying face, boss, buy, sell, and exchange. I'm finance bro. I'm the worst little thing of humanity. Fuck you. All the depravity, I hate it. I even hate that you're here with your little glasses and your beard. What a bad man, and you're killing the mood. But just think of Matthew David kissing with the beards, exchanging food. <laughs> Thank you guys for loving me. My name is Chris Taylor. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.